The little guy is sitting on the internet. The little guy is making his own little reports on the internet. And if there's something that doesn't go along with the frame mainstream perspective, it's immediately dismissed as conspiracy theory. How many times have you heard people like Bush or even Obama get up and say, let's not allow ourselves to fall in line with conspiracy theories regarding 9-11? 9-11 did not, yeah, exactly, you've heard that. Yes. Why? Because we're not stupid. That's why there are conspiracy theories about 9-11. We're not stupid. Yeah, we saw what happened that day, but you know what? I was on the Penn & Teller show, and their ability to make me look bad was putting some fucking fireman on who fought during the times that the planes hit the buildings, and I'm supposed to feel sorry for him doing his fucking job? Fuck you, Penn & Teller. Yeah. 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 Fuck you, Penn & Teller. Teller. Yeah. Fuck you. Go ahead. The, uh, the legal definition of a conspiracy is meeting to plan something that's illegal. So if you just meet to rob a car, that is a conspiracy. Sure, sure. Well, and it's like I've said before, we can read the Project for a New American Century and we can read that Dick Cheney and all of his thugs wrote what they were planning on doing. We want to build the military. We want to be aggressive. But the only way we can do that is if we have some sort of a catalyzing Pearl Harbor event that's supposed to just come from out of nowhere. And it did. It happened on September 11th. Okay? Just writing that down alone is, in my opinion, the same as mind fucking Kampf. Yes! Yes! Believe me, I am tired of the media forcing people into the arms of independent media who also doesn't take upon the responsibility of reporting what is right. And there are other websites out there that appear to be honest and allow themselves to push racist and hateful agendas, and I'm fed up with that too. Because you know what? The mainstream media has been saying, hey, anyone who believes in 9-11 or they believe in the, the Bilderbergers or they believe in that shit are all racist, anti-Semitic fucks. Now, how many people here believe that 9-11 was an inside job? By applause. Yes, yes, please. How many people believe that Barack Obama is not a naturalized citizen of the United States? Yes. By applause. Yeah, yeah. How many people believe that the world is controlled by the CFR, the Bilderbergers, and maybe the Fabian Conspiracy? Yeah. By applause. Yeah. All right, according to, according to MSNBC, you're all fucking lunatics. And you all have been locked up. Because you're all anti-Semitic, anti-black, and you should be all members of the KKK and the white supremacy groups. That's what they have said. They put that in their reports. So be ready to have your ass whooped by groups like the Simon Wiesenthal Center and all these other groups too. Okay? Go ahead. Um, the term anti-Semitic, the overwhelming majority of Semites are Arabs. Well, sure. So therefore, people that are branded as being anti-Semitic are not in line with the genocide program of that criminal little band of Zionists trying to kill all the others. Okay, we're going to get to that in a minute. The criminal little band of Zionists. We're going to talk about that too for just a second. We're going to get into that as well. Alex Jones was on the Jeff Rents radio show on August 3rd, 2007. And while Jones was ranting about IBM, Bill Gates Sr., Margaret Sanger, and David Rockefeller wanting to kill all of us all, with the, kill off the population, he was drawing parallels between their alleged eugenics and Saturday the evil of Adolf Hitler. In the midst of Jones' gravelly rant, Jeff Rents interrupts with his softer spoken tone and says, We've got to stop thinking of Adolf Hitler as the most evil man in history, folks. That's a misdirection. If you don't believe me, I've got it on tape. He did say that. Jones seemed a bit thrown off and confused, but proceeded to go on saying that Hitler was a construct of these people. But Rentz did say that we need to stop thinking that Hitler is such an evil man. Also, recently, he put this up on his website. He put a deeds illustration up on his website saying that Osama bin Laden was framed for 9-11, Timothy McVeigh was framed for the Oklahoma City bombing, and that Hitler was framed for the killing of six million Jews. <laughs> Oh now, my God, what a now, this is a screenshot. I'm not lying. I didn't make this up. In fact, the illustration went on to details about how there were no traces of Zyklon B on the walls of the camps and no mass graves of Jews. Okay? Now, I want to point out something to you. Regardless of what you might think of the Holocaust and the six million Jews that died or didn't die or whatever you want to do, I want to point out something to you. This is something that is sacred to a group of people, okay? 
So that makes Sacred Doom a group of people. And when we start talking about the Zionists, it's been noted quite heavily in the mainstream media that those who believe in 9 11 said this, I said this. When we talk about the Zionists, we talk about all this stuff. I'm going to tell you right now, saying that you are against the Zionists, but not against Israel or against the Jews, is like saying, I don't really like the black, black people. I like the ones that are kind of chocolate colored. They're all fucking Jews, okay? They're all Jewish. And here's another thing, too, that I want to point out to you. Zionism was the idea of a homeland for Israel, and most of the people that died in those concentration camps were not Zionists. So saying that they did not die, and saying that this was all an illusion, is fucking anti-Semitic. And it's true. You know, if you hate the Zionists, but you just love them Jews, you're fucking kidding yourself. And I'll tell you that for the truth. And anyone that says that Hitler was framed, he didn't just kill fucking Jews, he killed gypsies and he killed gay people. He killed a lot of people, not just fucking Jews. And Osama bin Laden, he was a part of 9-11. He wasn't fucking framed. He was involved with all the other fucking cohorts and the criminal elements within the United States as well. Okay? And Timothy McVeigh drove that fucking truck to Oklahoma City, and he was paid to do that, and he was involved, and he wasn't framed. He was involved with a much bigger conspiracy. I ought to know, I got fired for pointing it out on my national radio show. That's, that's only half the story, Mr. Rents. Only half the story. At the start of the First World War, most Jews Zionists supported Germany in the war with Russia. They were involved with their programs. They were trying to eliminate people. Listen, history speaks for itself. Most of the Zionist movement was not big until after we gave Israel their homeland. Okay? And then it became, ooh. You know, hatred of the Jews started way back in the 19, uh, early 1900s. The Jews were responsible. They were the demon behind the conspiracy and every other demon that came along as well. That's what was being accused, is that they were behind the conspiracy. The Jews are behind the conspiracy. The Masons are behind the conspiracy. The people who are behind the conspiracy are the top elitists that are paid to be a part of it. And they're planning against you. And if they're Jews, or they're Catholics, or whatever, I mean, come on, Hitler was a good Catholic boy. And if you don't believe me, take a look at the Pope. Excuse me. Yes. Hatred of the Jews started before they called themselves Jews. What I'm saying, what I, you misunderstand me. What I'm saying is, is that the, the Zionist hatred was a front, and the conspiracy about the Jews being a part of the conspiracy started at the turn of the century. Even though the Zionists are merely a small, though powerful, fraction of Judaism? Right. But the Zionists weren't all that powerful in the 1800s. They just weren't. And they weren't powerful. And they weren't even powerful before. They were, they were, they were part of uh, fighting against the Russians. President and the Zion we gave more power to the Zionists after World War II than they needed anyway. Present-day Zionism is not about a mere homeland. They have a homeland now. Mm -hmm. Present-day Zionism is about reclaiming a certain geographical I territory. I know you know. A certain geographical territory that happens to include a lot of land that over the past hundred couple of years, right. Palestinians and other people have laid claim to. Now, the uh, Zionists um, proper believe that it should be taken with force. I agree, I know that. So, what I'm trying to say is, is that there are, this is not an argument about Zionists and Jews. What this is an argument of is, when you say that you hate the Zionists, which a lot of people hate the Zionists. I am thrilled with myself. Okay, but it's a front. Because, I'll tell you why it's a front, because this type of shit, where you hear that the, the Holocaust didn't happen, or there was no proof of it. These Jews that died in the Holocaust, they weren't, a lot of them weren't Zionists. And so, what the fuck? And many of them were gypsies and gay people. And, and they were deformed and mentally and ill. Let's not forget dissidents. And dissidents. So what I'm trying to get at is that the, the whole idea of this, I mean, he can say what he wants, he has freedom of speech, but fuck, don't throw out, especially with Homeland Security,